What's up everybody, Steve with Steve Invest. I'm on a hunt for another mobile home to pick up and we're gonna be looking in a 55 plus community to uh, see if we can get another acquisition and um, I'm gonna take you through the property and we're also gonna go through everything from um, not just the property, but maybe the cost of rehab, but also we'll go back to my office and um, I'm gonna pull up comparables as well um, so we can actually see what these properties are renting for, uh, what they're selling for, make sure that we're not overpaying, make sure that we get it at a good price. And um, I'll run you through all the, the profit loss. They really keep this place up to par, keep it very clean. Um, they have a lot of things going on from shuffleboard to tennis to pickleball they got a clubhouse um so they got a a lot of stuff that goes on here again they keep the property or the entire park very very clean and um in really good shape <clears throat> which is another reason why i'm uh, uh attracted to this area to this spot specifically um you do own the land here and um there is a an association fee associated with it's about two hundred dollars a month you can uh you can buy these um it not being 55 you just cannot occupy them so um our our target market is the uh senior community for uh renting these properties they got a nice pool on the lake over there and they got water activities so uh, overall it's a really cool spot we're gonna jump into this unit i'll take you through it so this is the attachment to the mobile home. Um, a lot of these people do this to create more living space here. Um, it is great living space for sure. The only problem, the only issue that I have with this is this is directly um, on a monolithic slab. So it's not filled up. As you can see, the mobile home structure is a little bit higher. So. Uh, heavy rains I anticipate that it probably does get wet in here which which could be a problem lead to further issues but at the end of the day it is a pretty nice space um, somebody could even possibly make this into another bedroom um, area if it was properly insulated <clears throat> which it's not really um, that's not even plexiglass so let's take a look at this mobile home pretty dated so first thing I would do in here is probably get the uh, the vinyl planks throw down new flooring in here probably remove these uppers up here open up this kitchen maybe paint the entire kitchen white some new appliances probably get rid of most of these drapes and just put up regular blinds uh, it does appear to have some decent light coming through here. All the electric is off. That happens a lot of times with these 55 plus communities. These old timers are uh, usually pretty frugal. <laughs> so they don't run the electric or whatever. <clears throat> Got a little kitchen. Everything but a dishwasher. It's no big deal though. It's going to be hard to see this, but this is just a little... Uh, little bathroom with carpet going into the bathroom which is pretty gross and then it's just a one bedroom back here I mean all in all not too bad um, probably talking maybe a couple grand in flooring um, maybe about a thousand bucks for appliances probably another 500 for paint interior uh, maybe another couple hundred bucks for blinds so I don't even know if I'd want to put that much into it though. So I got to run the numbers on this one. There's a big shortage of um, senior housing and affordable living for seniors. So um, just doing my part. And uh, I think it could be a good investment if we can get this thing at the right number. All right, guys, I'm back at it. We did go out and look at uh, four of the mobile homes in that same community. And uh, I got a little hung up yesterday, so I was unable to complete the transaction, write these offers up. I'm gonna walk you guys through uh, basically my analysis on the property, where I need to purchase it at. We're gonna look at uh, the sold comps and also uh, income expenses. So as you can see, here is the property. Um, if you look, days on market, 696 days on market. That's a long time. Uh, so hopefully there's some motivation there because I'm not gonna pay uh, their asking price or probably not even get close to the asking price. 
of 68,000. As you guys can see here, the sole comps are roughly about 61 to 70,000, and um, it's it's really important to um, to make sure that you guys remain unemotional when you're analyzing real estate, even if you look at it and you're like, ah, oh, it's a beautiful property, it doesn't matter, and the numbers have to make sense. Now, um, when I'm analyzing these, I do take a more conservative approach as well in analyzing the um, the rental income. I think even in today's market, rents are pretty high. So right now, these things are um, trading around anywhere from $900 to $950 a month. I'm running my numbers on $800 a month. Um, this gives a little bit of buffer if the market does uh, change up a little on us, then um, we have some flexibility there. So I'm running on uh, conservative, get this thing leased out as quickly as possible, $800 a month. So let's just go ahead and dive into the numbers. Um, $800 a month, expenses associated with it. We got real estate taxes, we have uh, insurance, we have the association, HOA fees, um, and I do put um, uh, ten percent management in there. So total expenses three hundred and eighty dollars a month. If I take gross rent eight hundred minus three eighty, it leaves uh, a net operating income of four hundred and twenty. Um, we do that over an annual basis over twelve months. That's a uh, net five thousand, just over five thousand dollars a year. Now on. Um, Mobile homes, what I like to do is get a 12% cap rate. So it's simple math, guys. So I'm just going to take my annual income and divide it by 12%. It gives me my purchase price of $42,000. Or I'll probably offer maybe 40, but that's pretty much where I'm going to be capped out. Also, something that's extremely important is um, you guys have to understand that, you know, I went and looked at four of these yesterday. So odds are I'm probably going to make offers on all four of them. Um, you have to make a lot of offers that go out every single week to build up your portfolio. And uh, so you can't just go out, look at one offer, or look at one property, expect to get that property at a good price. You have to look at several, maybe dozens of properties to get the one right deal that makes sense for you and makes sense for your, your real estate portfolio. Make sure you're going out and kind of batch looking at real estate. Um, you know, it took all about an hour to go through all those properties yesterday and uh, they're all similar, similar and comparable. So I'm gonna run basically the same numbers as well. So it, it makes it a lot easier. So just make sure that you guys are looking at multiple properties. Don't waste time just going out looking at one. Try to get out there, look at four or five, uh, eight properties at a time, make good notes on them, come back, analyze them, and then start making your offers. And uh, eventually you're gonna get uh, the right deal. Anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed this, I appreciate the support. Check out some of these other videos on investing in real estate. And also check out the video I have on um, mobile home investing with no money down. Thanks a lot.